Oh my gosh, like I love those light bulb moments. Look, I got a Venus flytrap. Look, you need to do what's best for your students. Good morning, YouTube, and I just realized I never put earrings in. Ugh. Okay, so it is Monday morning, it is like 7.30, and I was really, really hoping that right now I'd be like super energized after having a nice relaxing weekend, and I would be ready to go for the week. That's not how I feel at all. <laughs> I just feel super overwhelmed right now, um, and it really hit me last night. Like, Billy and I got into a big fight, and I think it's because I was just so like stressed out, and I don't know what to do about it. I mean, okay, no, I know what I could do about it. It. I know I'm stressed because I'm just taking on so much right now like trying to teach a new grade level and get all of that under control plus trying to manage YouTube and all that like yes it's a lot and I'm fully aware like I put that on myself but I need to figure out how to handle it because I can do it like I did it last year I can do it this year I just have to figure out like a system and I feel like the first month of school it takes you several weeks to get to where you're in a routine and you can actually like get through stuff efficiently and until then like I feel like you're just tired or at least I am hi <laughs> I'm just super tired and you know I'll get there like it's fine I can power through it but yeah that's how I'm feeling right now I did feel productive this weekend like Friday night I got my vlog edited and actually that took a really long time I don't want to talk about it and then Saturday I got my classroom tour edited and I got it put up I also got to the gym so that was great yesterday one of Billy's friends came over so we could watch um, the Eagles and Redskins game unfortunately they lost <laughs> but it's okay while they were over I got my planning done for today and the reason I didn't plan for the rest of the week is because I kind of want to see how today goes because today is the first day where I'm actually teaching like real curriculum and I'm planning differently this year so at some point today I will show you what I'm doing I also got my I can statements for the first theme so we have four themes basically one a quarter for math science and social studies so I feel good about that I got them printed out I'm gonna have my TA put them in dry not dry erase page protectors I need to go get coffee you guys I know I have a coffee maker in my school now um, in my room I have my Keurig and I actually brought creamer but I forgot to bring sweetener which I know I don't really need but let's be serious like it's it's a Monday I need sweetener so I'm gonna go get my Dunkin Donuts May I help you? hi can I get a medium iced coffee with the pumpkin flavor and cream please Anything else? um no that'll be it thank you so my new caddies did come in. I got these off of Amazon. They are the Storex brand. I will link them for you in the description box. Only thing is that when I ordered them, it said that they were a teal color. Like here is what it looked like online. So I thought it was gonna be closer to like, almost like this kind of color or like the color of that caddy over there on my air conditioning unit. And to me, this is very blue. Now it's okay. Cause honestly, this probably will go better with my classroom anyway. But I was really confused when I opened up the box because I was like, this is not what I thought they were gonna look like. I told you all that I got all of my I can statements for the first quarter done for math, science, and social studies. So I'm actually pretty happy with these. Now the awesome thing is actually these are all um, like the I can statements are written up by our county. So it's not like I had to create that myself. I just typed it into the little template that I had, which once I made it once, it was super, super easy. So this one is science. Um, so I just have theme one. That's like our first theme for the entire quarter. Unit one structures for survival and then the lesson number and the I can statement. This is for social studies which we don't quite have themes for social studies. We just have units. So that's why at the top, it just says unit one, Maryland, the first settlers. And then I have just lesson one and the I can statement. And then this one is math, same theme. So for science and math and actually reading, we have the same theme for the entire marking period, which is nice because they all go together. Unit one, exploring multiples and factors. And then again, lesson number. And then I have the actual I can statement. So I pulled these three out because I'm going to put these up in the page protectors that are over there on my board. And the rest of these I'm going to give to my TA and I'm going to have her put them into page protectors and these are going to be stored down in these buckets. So I did go ahead and just get the board ready for today. I changed out our cultural art, which today is art. And then I put in the I can statements. One thing, if you guys are displaying I can statements typed, make sure you use a very clean font that your students can read. I see a lot of people use these like cutesy fonts, which are great for things for you. But if you want your students to be able to read these and follow 
them like you need to make sure that you have a very clean font so I just use a century gothic which comes standard I believe on on most computers both Macs and PCs but I like it because it's very just clean and concise and it's easy for students to read now I'm not gonna post these exact ones in my TPT store obviously because these are I can statements that fit our county's curriculum but if you're interested in this as a template it's absolutely something that I could put in my TPT store for you guys and then you could just type in your own I can statements and then I also did go ahead and just flip to today's date I know I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago that like I didn't really like how these were all hanging a lot of you told me to put two holes so like one in each side to help level it out which is probably what I will end up doing but then I have to get another hook and I don't have any more hooks right now so for right now I'm just gonna deal with it it's good enough are you guys I am loving this camera and I know a lot of you guys notice that the quality is much better absolutely and the sound is much better and I love that but I do not love that it's making me look like a ghost because I did not go out into the sun at all this summer however so right now it's about 8 10 typically on Mondays from 8 5 to 8 55 we're supposed to have collaborative planning so our entire team plans together but our grade level actually got approval to change our collaborative planning to Tuesday morning which is typically IEP meetings because two of my team teachers have planning today during their planning time with the reading teacher so in order to kind of make up for that so that they don't have like all their planning time kind of taken from them we moved ours to Tuesday so I have this morning free to myself which is good because I have quite a few things to get ready for today so in this basket right now I have homework so I have different homework both for my exploratory group which is my block one and then my single subject group which is my block two and I told you guys that I kind of color coded them so my homeroom class I'm using the color like orange and then my block one I'm using the color pink and then my block two I'm using the color blue so I thought about it and I was like I wonder if I can go on to Amazon and buy binder clips like specific colors in bulk I'm gonna have to go on and see because if I can get like pink binder clips and then have blue binder clips which I have a couple but I don't have enough to store like all of my copies that would just help me to keep everything separate for my two blocks so I'm gonna have to go on and do a little bit more Amazon shopping and I also have these copies ready for math but actually we're using the same thing in both blocks so this is just like graph paper which I don't have any of right now so I went online and just circle or uh, search grid paper found some printed it out and then made copies and then this is from learn zillion which if you do not use learn zillion now obviously if you have a provided curriculum you probably don't need it but if you don't have much of a curriculum provided by your county I highly suggest you check it out they have it for all different grade levels and there's like a video that explains the skill and then there's practice pages to go with it and then I'm leaving this for bud who is our TA so I have my little sterilite container here that's holding all of my page protectors and I just wrote on a sticky note please put into page protectors with the title which is the part in the black bar up against where the holes are and I did like one as an example so I'm gonna have her put all of those in page protectors which will be a huge time saver for me and now I need to clean up this hot mess because when I filmed my classroom tour for you guys this is horrible I had this random stuff and I just like put it into the hallway and then before I left I just brought it back into my room and put it on this desk and apparently some of the binders fell off so I need to take care of this and get it put away I also need to get their new bins ready which if you guys remember I showed you that I did not have enough highlighters for my groups or at least I think I showed you so each group needs to have a pink orange yellow and a green highlighter so that the students can highlight their names based on their blocks so I have this little sign up here by my turn and bin and it just tells them like if they're in Mrs. Blatt's Himes class they need to highlight it yellow Miss Lee's class pink Miss White's class green and then my class orange but I did not have enough highlighters I only had like two green highlighters out of all of the highlighters that my students turned in so I just went to my team teachers and like <laughs> hoarded or um, not hoarded I raided their bins of highlighters and took these I didn't take them I asked permission they gave them to me so I'm gonna get these put into their bins along with some other extra supplies My class is now at Cultural Arts. It's about 9.35, but I have to brag on them for a minute, you guys. I seriously have the sweetest class. So this morning, I had to blow up an inflatable dice because we were gonna play like a little game during morning meeting, and all of a sudden, I was like, oh no, I forgot to blow it up. So I grabbed it, and while my students were finishing up their morning work, I was blowing it up, which was taking longer than I expected. And one of my kids was like, give her air, guys. And they just started like flapping their arms to give me air. It seriously cracked me up. And let me show you guys what I got this morning. So one of my kiddos brought this in. He said his sister 
sister made it with her Cricut. How stinking cute is this? It says teacher fuel and I seriously need to know what that font is because it is so adorable and it is filled with my favorite Reese's. And as if it couldn't get any better because Reese's are amazing, but one of the girls from my blocks, which she's not my homeroom, but she is in one of my blocks. I cannot remember which one off the top of my head. She brought me this this morning. It says math is fun with Miss Bray. And then look, you guys, she drew a sloth. It's so cute. Oh, and there's like a big sloth and a little sloth. So adorable. And someone brought in Dum Dums as a donation to our class. And someone brought in hand sanitizer. My block one is over, it is now lunchtime, and block one flew by. Like I only got through half of what I had planned, which I kind of figured was going to happen. Like I knew I was being ambitious for the first day of like actual curriculum, but still like everything just took a very, very long time. So for math, we have our curriculum. It follows like a flipped I do, we do, you do. So that's where like the teacher shows how to do it. You do it together and then the students do it on their own. But for us, math is actually the opposite. You give them a problem, they work, either on their own in partners or like in groups to try to solve it first then you kind of do it together and then they're supposed to do it on their own so we got through them working on their own and then us working together but we did not get to the independent practice and then for science we're going over the science rules you can kind of see them up on the board yeah there you go um so we're going over the rules and they were supposed to make a poster like each group is assigned a role they have to make a poster showing it and then they're gonna make a skit showing like not following the rule and then following the rule but we did not get to the drawing we're going to have to try to like fit in the skit in the 15 minutes we come back but that's probably not gonna happen so the good thing about being departmentalized is like you almost get a redo for your second block that sounds awful um now our students are grouped by level so my students that are all in one group are like around the same level so some of my blocks will move faster than others so it's not always gonna work out where like i'm doing the exact same thing in both my blocks but still when i am doing that it's kind of nice because like you go through it in the morning and then when you do it in the afternoon you kind of just have a better idea of how it's going to go so I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit in the afternoon I'm gonna have to drink a soda or something to get more energy so that I can be like hyped up so I've had a slight change in the way I do things I went ahead and just changed out my cultural arts for tomorrow I flipped to the next day my problem is my TA put all of my like I can statements in page protectors which I so appreciate so excited but when I went to put them on there with the book rings these little magnets were sliding now they're really really hard to pull off I feel like if these were hanging from like metal like on the ceiling they would stay and they wouldn't fall off but they do slide up and down if that makes sense and they were too heavy so here's what I've decided to do I actually am going to keep them in binders now because I just decided to do this I don't have binder covers yet but that will be on my list of things to do so I'm just going to keep them all in the binders and the binders will stay in these little containers down here you'll see I already have math theme one binder in there so at the end of the day I will just pull out the binder open up and this is a little like magnetic bookmark and I just have that on there marking the page so I will put the old one in here and then I'll just take out the next one move the bookmark to the next one hopefully that's pretty easy for me to do thankfully I actually just got rid of the little book rings I just am hanging the page protectors right on the magnets so far so good the only one that actually worked is social studies because I think there's only like 10 different I can statements so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just leave the whole unit up there and when I need to flip to the next one I'll just take the first one off so like I'll take lesson one off I'll have lesson two and then I will put this one into a binder down in the blue bin. So I've been keeping just a running to-do list on my desk. So some things that I need to do today, as much as I wanted to write these on the side that says no, I sucked it up and wrote it on the side that says yes. I need to register for the PTA, which is the Parent Teacher Association. When I get home, it's really weird. The, the link does not work at school, so I have to do it when I get home. I also need to update my rosters. So I have like a one-page sheet that has my homeroom, my block one, and my block two rosters all in one place. And I need to update those and I need to make five copies. So two copies for me, one is just one that I kind of keep on hand so I have it the other one goes in my emergency folder which is in a little drawstring bag by the door for emergency so if you have a fire drill I grab it and I have to give one to all of my team teachers as well so they can put it in their emergency folder and then I need to laminate these game boards so I did have time earlier to print these out these are from learn zillion and it's just a little like multiples game I printed them out on colored Astro Bright's cardstock but I did not get time to laminate them I'm actually gonna take them home along with my entire to-do 
list because it is currently 425 and I need to get out of here because the post office closes at five and I need to check my PO box. So I'm gonna get out of here and I will catch up with you guys when I get home. All right, I know this is gross, but I have to show you guys. Remember when I burned myself last week and it was just like a little red spot? Yeah, well, it is now like peeling. It's so disgusting and I feel like it's gonna end up scarring. So case in point, don't curl your hair in the morning if you're half asleep and not paying attention to what you're doing. So So I went to Dollar Tree hoping to either get more sandwich containers or the little face scrubbers, which I use as dry erase board erasers, but they did not have either. So I ended up getting these six baskets. So it's just like a hard plastic. I'm gonna label them with my table number. So my table one through six, because today during math, I was trying to pass out manipulatives and it was just a hot mess. And I tried to use like other buckets, but I only had four, hi Luna. And I didn't have enough for all six of my groups. So I went ahead and just grabbed these six buckets. I'm gonna try to label them tonight that way I can have them set up on my back table with all of the stuff that each group will need and then I'll just send like a table captain to go up and get their groups bucket and I also got sour gummy worms or these aren't gummy worms these are gummy bears I got sour gummy bears because it's a Monday and life is too short to not eat sour gummy bears on a Monday so I have not started doing anything like actually productive yet but I have been online shopping well technically I've been looking because I haven't bought anything yet but I'm about to so I wanted to show you guys what I got first of all on Amazon I did find packs of like single colored binder clips. So I got orange, pink, and blue. That way I can organize copies for my three different groups of kids, my homeroom group, block one and block two. And then this popped up, which actually I needed these, but I forgot that I needed these. So thank you Amazon for reminding me somehow. These are just like plastic cups that have like the dome lids. You, I don't know, I think of like um, Frappuccino kind of drinks with those. I am getting these and the white tissue paper. I'm gonna use these for trying to take a breath. I'm, <laughs> this is really sad you guys, I'm out of breath from vlogging. Can I consider vlogging my exercise for the day? I am getting these to give to my students for birthday gifts. So what I'm gonna do is inside of the cup, I'm gonna put like a little candy at the bottom. I'm going to put the lid on top and I'm going to put a pencil in it. And I'm gonna use the tissue paper kind of at the top of the cup just to look like whipped cream. I don't know, I'm hoping it will come together, but that's why I'm ordering these. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm normally not a procrastinator. I like to get my work done ASAP. But right now I just feel like procrastinating. I shouldn't, but I do. So I'm gonna tell you guys two stories. Story number one, last night, I ran into a chair because normally we don't have a chair in our living room. We just have the couch, our little like coffee table and the end table. What was that? The end table. But last night, since Billy's friend was over watching the game, we took a chair from the basement and brought it up to the living room. And I wasn't used to it being there. And I ran into it and I hit my ankle right on the leg, which is like solid wood. And my ankle like immediately swelled and bruised in that spot because it hurt like that bad. So my ankle has been sore all day. It's my right ankle on the like, like inside. Then today during block two, you guys have to realize I am like all over my room when I am teaching. Like I'm running around, I'm up on chairs and I ran into a desk. Actually the desk jumped out at me. At least that's what I'm telling people. So I tripped, I caught myself, but I was wearing heels. And in doing that, I kind of like rolled my ankle a little bit, but like it was fine. I recovered. My kids are like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, get used to it. Like this will happen every day. So I thought I was okay. And then I took off my shoes cause my feet were kind of hurting. And I like went to just kind of roll my ankle and I was like ooh this doesn't feel good so I think I rolled it just a little bit worse than what I thought like I can walk on it I'm fine but that whole ankle is just like no <laughs> I'm not feeling it today so I'm gonna try to stay off my feet as much as I can tonight and maybe ice it a little bit and it will be better tomorrow second story is exciting Billy officially has a job I'm very very excited very proud of him could not be happier so last night he got an email from a place that he interviewed at last week and it was offering him a job so he went in this morning, he obviously accepted it. Yeah, so he's now employed. Um, he's gonna be working from nine 
to six every day. So that's going to be a little bit of an adjustment for us. He will probably get up with me because he's going to have to leave by like 7, 15 ish in the morning. So he'll get up with me. He'll, he'll probably leave at like around the same time. And then he's going to gain home a little bit later, which kind of stinks because if he is done at six, he then has to walk to the Mark station, take the Mark train back to where we live and then drive from the Mark station to our house. So he's probably not going to be getting home until like 7.30 each night, which is just a little bit like later than ideally I would like, but it's okay. We we'll make it work. And honestly, it's probably good because you guys know I like to stay late at school and I always feel guilty when I know that he's here. But if I know that he's at work, it just kind of gives me some more time. So we will make it work. We both are officially employed. So for all those people who over the summer were like, how are you and Billy affording to buy all this stuff? Neither of you have jobs. Yeah, we both have jobs. Don't worry about us. We are taking care of it. I'm going to try to be productive until Billy gets home. He's going to like just swing by, pick me up. I'm sorry. My cats are just running around like house like lunatics. Luna, stop. If anyone wants two cats, mine are officially up for sale. Um, actually, no, you can have them for free. You can just, you can just have them. So he's going to swing by, grab me. We're going to go get a bite to eat because we need to go grocery shopping. We have tried because I'm just sitting here telling stories. I'm not being productive at all. We did officially order our groceries online once. Yeah, we did it once. We had them delivered and I loved it. It's just a matter of like planning far enough in advance. And right now we don't have food and it's too late to do online grocery shopping. So we're gonna go grab a bite for tonight and then maybe by like tomorrow or Wednesday, we can have our lives together enough to actually eat at home again. Hi, look how handsome uh, he is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So kind of a major life update. You will notice it is 6 a.m. or it's about to be 6 a.m. I have not slept yet. I decided to pull an all-nighter and I know you guys are gonna yell at me, but before you yell at me, hear me out. I had to get this video edited and put up. I have had it on my mind for over a week now and I cannot focus on anything else when I have something in the back of my head that like I just keep thinking about over and over and over again. So I decided to pull an all-nighter so I could get this video edited, uploaded, plus like I didn't finish my I didn't finish. Oh guys, it's already starting. I didn't finish my lesson plans um, and just getting all that organized until it was already late. It was already like 1130. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be able to get the video edited like in a decent amount of time. So yeah, here's where we are with things. I pulled an all nighter. It's okay. I'm going to get a super large coffee and it will all work out. Okay. Okay, it feels weird saying good morning when I haven't slept yet. It still feels like Monday, but it is now Tuesday. I feel okay. You know how when you stay up all night, you have like phases, like you'll have a phase where you're really, really tired, and then all of a sudden you feel really awake, and then you feel really tired, and then you feel awake. Thankfully right now, I'm in one of the stages where I do feel awake. However, while drying my hair this morning, I closed my eyes, and I didn't think I was going to be able to open them again, so it's gonna be an interesting day. I'm gonna treat myself to Starbucks. I'm gonna get a venti something. I don't even know what, but I'm gonna get a venti. I will probably have like coffee with my Keurig at school and we're just gonna run on caffeine and it's okay And I know you guys are gonna tell me it's not healthy to pull all-nighters. My mom's gonna yell at me I know ideally I didn't want to do this um, But honestly like I didn't finish getting everything ready until 6 a.m um, Mostly just like with the video because I had two and a half hours of footage to edit which takes a very long time And you know what you gotta do what you gotta do and sometimes you I don't know personally I would rather like do an all-nighter so that I I can like get stuff out of the way and now I can work on actually getting ahead rather than feeling like I'm constantly just trying to get stuff done for the next day and the next day and the next day. I 
would like to be able to plan like ahead, but I could never do that because I had so much I had to get done just for the next day. So now I feel more caught up and I feel better. So even though it probably is not healthy and I'm probably going to regret it later, for right now, I feel better. I am leaving early, so that's really nice because I was already up. I went ahead, showered, and got ready, and I'm leaving with Billy. Well, actually, he already pulled out and left me, but I left the house with Billy. It's like 7.15, and that's about 15 minutes earlier than I usually leave. So I'm going to go to school. I have like one little set of copies to make and actually they're not for me they're for my team teacher because I already taught the lesson she's teaching the lesson today so I'll explain that later how we're doing all that for now I'm just gonna go get to school and then I'll catch up with you from there So this morning I did get my table basket set up. So they're all the same. I wanted to ideally get six different colors, but they didn't have them in that many different options. So I just got all the same color and then I hung these little labels on them. I made these last night just really, really quickly, printed them, laminated them, put a hole in it, and then I'm just hanging it with a book ring. These are bigger book rings. I think they're like an inch and a half, I wanna say. And then this way I can just put whatever materials are going to the group in their bucket. And then I can pick a table captain to just quickly come up and grab their team's bucket. And it'll be much faster than me trying to go around and pass them all out. It's lunchtime, so that means I've made it halfway through the day. I don't feel tired, but I definitely don't have the same amount of patience as I usually do. Like I could definitely tell with my block one, which my block one is just my kind of chattier class, I could definitely tell that I like just was not, not in the mood today whatsoever, but we did get through everything I had planned, which is good because yesterday I felt like it just flew by and I barely got through anything. And today it felt a lot more like structured and a lot more normal, which is fantastic. I am gonna eat my lunch because I'm very very hungry I drank my coffee super fast this morning and I had a yogurt but I feel like when you're awake longer like staying up all night I got much hungrier than usual if that makes sense so I'm starving I'm gonna eat my lunch and then probably the next time I talk to you guys will be after school I wanted to take a couple of minutes and introduce you guys to some websites first of all I always have people commenting on my videos asking about this website so this is called Symbaloo it's s-y-m-b-a-l-o-o -O. basically it's a way to bookmark websites and for me it's just a lot more user friendly than like having a list of bookmarks because they all have pictures with them so here is a website and actually I have to thank one of my subscribers for this because she commented about it I cannot remember her name off the top of my head and I checked it out and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing and I've been using it all the time so it's called classroomscreen.com it's a free website you don't have to like register or anything to use it you just go to classroomscreen.com and I'll link it for you guys in the description if I remember and it has all of these different like almost like little apps down here you'll notice the background right now is a flower every time you go to the web page it's something different so like if I refresh this when it reloads it's gonna have a different picture so it just picks a different one each time and then you're able to change it so right down here and I'm trying to do it while looking on the computer this is not going well there we go background you have a whole bunch of different backgrounds to choose from or you can even upload your own now if you upload your own and then leave the website it will disappear and the next time you go you have to re-upload it or you can just leave that web page open on your computer. So I'll show you some of the ones I really like. Um, I do like when my students are doing like deer time or they're doing independent work, I will put this up there. It's like a little waterfall and it's a GIF so it is moving. I also really like the cloud because it's just pretty and like simple and calming and I like the bright blue colors. Um, the grass is also nice because it's just kind of like one consistent color and there's not too, too much going on. There's also this wood one that's kind of cool. So once you pick your background, I'm just gonna go with like the clouds. There's all these options down here, okay? So random name, you can actually type out like your roster here, or I've actually been using it to pick groups. So I would just type in like group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, and group six. And then you hit choose and it will just choose one. And the great thing is like you can put this up here, you can move it around and then you can pin it. So it'll stay put and you can't move it anymore. And the best part is you can have tons of these up all at one time. So it's like great for multitasking, which we all know teachers have to do. Like there's a calculator, there's a QR. So you can put in a website and it will put a QR code up here. Now I wouldn't really use that in elementary very much but especially if you teach like middle school or high school and your students use their phones for some things like to get on to I don't know like um, Kahoot or something like that you can just put it up here and then they can scan it right on the screen not really something I'm gonna use a whole lot though you can put a text box up here so you can just type in text right there and then you can have it kind of all displayed at once you can put a timer up you can put a clock up a traffic light I haven't quite figured out like what I would use this for but you can just kind of select different colors 
You also can put work symbols up there so you can choose like silence, whisper, ask a neighbor, or work together. And the one I've really been liking is drawing. So there's two different drawing options. This one is just like a small drawing board. Let me get rid of the text box. There we go. This is a small drawing board, but you also can have it go full screen. Now I have all these other ones, so let me close them. Okay, so if you have it full screen, it's almost just like paint. You can select the colors over here. You can select the size up here, and then you can like change the background and everything. So you can do like grid lines. You can clear the entire thing. You could have a black background and so on. So I've been using this with my smart board. I don't really like to use smart notebook. I just do not like the program. Like I've had training on it and I just don't like it. Like it just does not work for me very well. So I usually make things in PowerPoints, but then there are times where like, I just want to be able to draw on the screen, especially for math. And I've been using this a lot. It's perfect. It's super, super easy. And I just love that this website has it all like right together. And you don't even have to log in. Like you don't have to register for anything. You literally just go to the website and you're ready to go. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is lesson planning. I have told you all this year is about embracing change and using that change to evolve and become a better teacher rather than getting stressed out by it and getting frustrated and discouraged. This is how I have planned in the past. I've always had a lesson planning binder. This is my lesson planning binder that I created. It is editable and in my TPT store. So if you see this and you go, Ooh, that would probably work for me. I will link it for you in the description box. So it comes with like cover pages, pages you can make your schedule. Um, now the standards are a separate like document that I have in my store. It's just kind of like an overview of the standards. And then for the lesson plans, I just had tons of different layouts. So I would always make like a to-do list for the week. I would always make a list of copies to make. I would have a week overview. So I just had all of the days mapped out with like the date, the like schedule day, what our special was, any special events going on. And then for each day, I would make like a day overview because my day changed so much just on a daily basis and it drove me nuts. And then I had this where I just broke down all of my subjects and just kind of wrote what I was doing. And then I had like small group lesson plans, whether it was for obviously this week I was doing bass testing, um, but small group, whether it was for like math or reading, I'd break it down like that. And that's how I typically planned. And it worked really well for me at my old county because we didn't have a lot of like ready to go curriculum. It was us supplementing a lot of our own stuff. So I really needed to write out like detail, well detailed for me, detailed plans of what I was doing. However, where I am at now, I don't need to do that because honestly the curriculum is all laid out and you just go online and you click the lesson and like it's all there for you. So there's no point in me sitting there and like retyping it in every single day into this. Like that's literally a waste of my time. Plus, honestly, I got kind of tired of like printing out pages all the time. I do like having like my plans physically in front of me, but at the same time, I don't know, just the upkeep of all the papers like can get overwhelming, especially if you're doing stuff last minute, which I tend to do a lot with my lesson plans. So I have made a jump onto plan book. I'm going to try it out for a couple weeks. I'm going to see what I think. So far though, I will tell you guys, I am loving it like so, so much. And of course I just got an email. Ugh. Anyway, um, I really, really like it. Um, I've heard of plan book for a really long time. Like even before I had started teaching, I was familiar with plan book, but I just didn't know if it was going to work for me. And honestly, in my old County, I don't think it would have worked for me. However, where I am at now, like so far it's working really well. Now I will show you, you can tell like Monday, my plans were a lot more detailed than they were today. So let me kind of walk you through like why that is. So let me go to like yesterday's plans, which first of all, I know I'm going to have people asking me, I have formatted all of my plans, like very specifically so that they all coordinate and they all have templates and they all match. And I had to do a lot of like HTML with it. And it's probably not going to be something that I can just walk you guys through. Cause I'm not going to lie. It was almost a little bit over my head. Like it was kind of complicated and it would be really, really hard for me to try to explain. So I, I don't know if you guys ask, like I can do my best, but no promises. So on Monday, um, so I have like block one, my math. Um, now I did put in my morning meeting and my cultural arts, but you're notice, you'll notice there's no plans. I literally just have like the time block just so I can kind of visually see it in my schedule. And I'm sorry, the screen's doing the funky thing because of the camera. Then for math, um, I have like the lesson title. How can I use area models and T charts to find factor pairs? And then I have, oh my gosh, it's driving me nuts. You guys I'm trying to like find an angle where 
it's not doing it, but it's everywhere. Down. Okay, that's a little bit better. Mm, no. Okay. So I have it laid out just like the lesson was online. So the lesson number, I can statement, materials, our number sense routine, pose a problem, differentiation, and expression, which is basically like how are you assessing their skills? And then basically same thing for science, so like block one science, block one social studies, we alternate days. So I either teach science or social studies that day, but I don't usually teach both. And then I have lunch or recess, and then I have my block two. So block two math, block two science, and then we did not have social studies down at the bottom. I did it for a day and I was like, okay, cool. I could totally do this. It did take a little bit of time to like type it all in there. And then I went, Michelle, why are you typing it in there? Like you don't need that if the lesson plan is already written out for you in the curriculum. So then when it came to today, I simplified it majorly, but it actually made it a lot easier on me. So I did include the theme, the unit and the lesson number. That way I can easily look it up in the curriculum if I need to. I listed any things to finish from the previous lesson because I very quickly realized we are not going to get through everything on a daily basis. So I want to be able to have like a place to put those little things that we have to finish before we move on to the next lesson. And then our curriculum lines up a lot with Lauren Zillion and it references a lot of their videos, which if you have never checked, if you have never checked out Learn Zillion, I highly recommend you check it out. It's free. I'll have a link for you guys in the description. So I actually hyperlinked this so I just click it and it takes me directly to the video that I have to show and I love that like I love that I can just click it and I'm not trying to open up a million tabs in the morning like I can just click it when I need it I also put an attachment so this is a game that I prepped for my early finishers and so I'm able to just download it where to go down here here we go this is also from learn zillion so I attached it there so next year when I come back to my plans like it will already be here for me which is fantastic and then come down a little bit today we had no science and we had social studies instead so I just put the basic like focus map elements. I put the I can statement. I put any special notes. So like for their warm up, we had to use the map on textbook page R8. And then I wanted to remember to have them glue down the small elements notes page into their journal. And then you'll notice this attachment. This is literally the PowerPoint. Now my team teacher made this, not me, but it's in Google Drive and it's just linked. So it's right there. It's so easy to access. And then I did the same thing down for my other blocks. And so far I'm just like, why was I not doing this sooner? I Actually, I know why, because it wouldn't have really worked with the way my plans were before, but still, I am just enjoying this. Like, I didn't want to make a change. I loved the way I lesson planned. I love my lesson plan binder, but like every so often, we kind of have to reevaluate, like, am I doing it the best way for me? Am I doing it the most efficient way for me? And sometimes you are, and then things change, and you have to adapt to that, and you have to change. So now, I'm going to try online, online lesson planning. Y'all, I'm so tired right now. You have to remember, I did not sleep last night. Also, one other quick thing, along with that I am using Google Drive which I've used a little bit but not a whole lot um, but now I'm trying to use it for everything so to make it super easy on myself um, I actually changed the way I did my PowerPoints when I showed you earlier in the week I had one long PowerPoint for the entire week I've decided to break it up by subject so I now have science if I go to unit one PowerPoints I have science for week one in one long thing now this font it looks different when I open it up in PowerPoint um, but I just have all of the science stuff for the entire week in one PowerPoint. Same thing for math. I have all of the math stuff in one PowerPoint right here. Now I did it in a different PowerPoint for Monday. So I swear I did have this done, but it was, it's in a different one. Um, but you'll see this stuff from today. Here we go. So it's in one PowerPoint and I actually think it just worked a lot better for me kind of having it separate. So then for my morning stuff under PowerPoints, I have my general PowerPoint for the week. So it has their morning slide that I have on when they come in in the morning and then our morning meeting slide and then our dear time slide and then our dismissal slide and then it has it for each of the days so it's still color coded pink for Monday orange for Tuesday yellow for Wednesday green for Thursday and then blue for Friday so it is still color coded but then I can just pull up that one PowerPoint to have throughout the day I pull up math I pull up science or social studies depending on what we're doing and honestly I'm liking this um I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go and I think that's okay okay I've had just like a major change of plans today I was planning on leaving school no later than 4 30 like I told myself I was gonna be determined to have all of my plans done so I could leave at 4 30 go home take a nap and not do anything school related tonight but I'm actually I don't know I am tired I'm not gonna say I'm not as tired as I thought I would be because I feel fine and then all of a sudden it hits me where like the room starts to just like not look right and I get that like moment of exhaustion then it kind of goes away and so it's been very back and forth but I still feel 
feel like I can function. Like I don't feel like I'm completely not functional. So that's good. I ended up staying and tried to get a lot of my student information organized. So I had my students fill out lots of papers at the beginning of the year. Well, not really the students, but the parents, just like information sheets about them, emergency sheets about them, all that kind of stuff. And I've just been putting it into drawers. So today I had my TA put them all in alphabetical order, mark who did not have them so I can make sure that I try to get them from those students before the end of the week. I put them all organized into binders and then I also had to add parents to our Shutterfly account. So our entire fourth grade has like one web page through Shutterfly that we connect all of the parents to and that's where as a grade level we post pictures, we post announcements, we post information that they need, all that stuff so it's all in one place for them for all of fourth grade because a lot of them, a lot of the kids have like three out of four of the teachers so we thought it was easier just to do it as like a grade level. Now I'm not very familiar with Shutterfly. I had never used it until now so I'm still learning but I got all my parents added in. Basically I had to type like each kid and then add their parent with the email and then add another parent with an email so it took a while but it's okay. It's done. It's out of the way. I don't have a big to-do list tonight besides just making like the math PowerPoint for tomorrow and I haven't been planning math too far in advance because I feel like I never know what we're actually going to get through in class and how my students are going to do with it. So I'm kind of doing a lot of my math plans like day by day but science and social studies are done for the week so that's good. I really just have to focus on math which I don't mind doing but I'm going to get out of here. Billy is on his way home from DC. I need to go get flowers for a science lesson tomorrow so I'm hoping by the time I do that and then get home we should be there about the same time. I grabbed my stuff to go but I have to tell you a really quick and funny story. First of all you guys know that my past teacher bag I had two different incidents where I had sauces in the pockets that ended up exploding and getting all over the bag and I was so frustrated so I said with this new bag I'm not gonna put like any liquids in it no drinks no sauces nothing. Ironically over the weekend at one point I was brushing my teeth you guys are gonna think that I'm ridiculous I was brushing my teeth and I leaned over like from the upstairs I leaned over the banister looking down trying to find the cats and like a little piece of toothpaste I felt it fall out of my mouth but I was like it's fine like I'll clean it up later I kind of forgot about it well I figured out where it landed of course of all places it could land it landed on my brand new teacher bag seriously so hashtag teacher life went into Lowe's I ended up getting these flowers because it was really easy to see like the different parts especially inside of the flower I think they're petunias I don't know I do not have a green thumb whatsoever I also got a little mini cactus because we are comparing like flowering plants cactus plants and carnivorous plants and this is what I'm most excited about you guys look I got a Venus flytrap and I'm actually really really excited about it I cannot wait to show my kids I feel like they're gonna just think that it's really really cool and I'm gonna attempt to keep it alive like all year although I don't think I have to do anything because I'm supposed to eat bugs so I don't know I have no idea what I'm doing with this but I'm hoping I can keep it alive all year because I think it's cool you can tell I'm tired because I did not even think to bring my vlogging camera in with me to Lowe's or Chipotle but Billy and I just got home we ended up meeting each other at Chipotle right around the corner from where we live and we decided to bring <laughs> really cats we decided to bring it home because it was freezing in there like we we're gonna eat it in there but it was just way too cold so we brought it home with us so we're gonna just sit kind of enjoy our dinner because we have not gone grocery shopping yet and then I can get started on some more lesson planning All right, time to figure out what I ordered online because I never remember. I'm pretty sure this is a dress. It's like a purplish kind of color dress, but we'll see. Yes, so this is a dress. Let me go ahead and take it out of the package. So this is what the dress looks like. It just has like a v-neck and then little like cap sleeves and kind of comes in in the middle. It's very basic, but I want to say it was less than $25. And honestly, I'm loving dresses like this from Amazon because they are so simple. I can like either dress them up, I can dress them down. They're really comfortable and it's really easy to put on because it's just one piece. Now this box, I have no idea what's in here. Oh, this is a rain jacket. Thanks. All right, so this is just like a 
very basic black rain jacket, but I wanted to have a rain jacket to keep in my classroom. Hold on, that's upside down. There we go, just a basic black rain jacket to keep in my classroom for when we have dismissal outside and it is raining. Again, this was like, I don't know, $25, something like that. I will link it for you in the description box and I will be wearing this probably on Thursday because I think it's supposed to thunderstorm on Thursday. So I will show you guys what it looks like actually on. Life update and please ignore the fact that I am in sloth mode for the night. It is 9.45 and I'm done. I pretty much got my plans for tomorrow or at least I think I did. I literally started to just zone out and I typed up a slide and I looked back and I had like 10 million mistakes on it. Like it made zero sense whatsoever. So I was like, Michelle, you're done. I don't care if you're actually done or not. You're done for tonight. Your brain is just completely fried. You need to go to bed. So I will have to review my plans during my planning time tomorrow, but that's why they call it planning time. So you can plan. I'm going to bed. I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, YouTube. So I got a full eight hours of sleep last night. I got into bed by like 9.45 or 10 and I literally fell asleep within minutes of my head hitting the pillow. I was so out of it and so tired and I slept all the way until 6.15 this morning. So I feel good now. I feel rested and I feel good. So yesterday may not have been the best choice pulling an all-nighter, but I don't care. I'm back on track. I feel good. I'm slowly like getting those little things done. Like there's always things at the beginning of the year that you forget about, like setting up a student data binder. And I have to have three different student data binders because because I have a homeroom class and a block one class and a block two class and there's just all those little things. Um, I need to get emergency sub plans prepped soon and all that kind of stuff, but it's okay. Like I'm getting there a little bit each day. I'm probably gonna stay late most of the days this week, except for Thursday. Thursday I'm going home on time so that I can make sure that I'm ready for my Instagram live on Thursday night at eight o'clock. But now with Billy working and him working like kind of late, I don't feel rushed to leave school. And I know that there are people that say, I leave, you know, right when school gets out, like I work contract hours. I I like staying in my classroom. I like getting stuff done in my classroom. So it's not that I'm doing it like to punish myself. Like I honestly enjoy being in my classroom. I enjoy being productive. I enjoy just getting those little things done that make me feel better and more at peace because everything is more organized or whatever the case. Now I am not going to Starbucks anymore because yesterday I went to Starbucks. It literally took me 15 minutes to get through the drive-through line and there were only like four cars ahead of me. Like they moved so stinking slow. So I'm only gonna go there like maybe like once a month, if even that. I'm gonna go to Dunkin this morning and I'm gonna get an ice pumpkin latte because I had that from Starbucks yesterday and I want to have the one from Duncan and kind of compare them so I'll catch up with you guys at school. Good morning can I get a large um, iced pumpkin latte please? There you yep that'll be it. Four corners, please. Thank you. Okay, it is already lunchtime. It's been a very hectic day, but that's okay. So far it's going really, really well. When I came in this morning, I literally like had to put my bag down and then go to the media center because we were having like a staff meeting. So that took us until the students started coming in at 8.55. And then when my students went to cultural arts, I had math planning with my team teacher. So we mapped out next week what we're doing for math, science, and social studies. So I feel good because like obviously those are things I have to do, but I haven't really had any time to like myself today. So let me show you guys my desk because it's a hot mess. So these are just sheet protectors with like all my different rosters for my different blocks, a school map, um, other class rosters, just so I know like where everyone is. I keep it out on my desk at all times, like until I get to know it better. Obviously right now it's flipped over for privacy reasons. This part of my desk looks good. Like if I showed you just this part, you'd probably think I was doing okay. But then I have this hot mess. So these are papers from the faculty meeting this morning. This is my pile from my team planning. So I had like my laptop, some pages that my kids had done in my notebook. Have not gotten a chance to put those away yet. This is a bag with the cactus and the Venus flytrap. We did use the flowering plants today during science, so I took those out, but I still have these sitting here, and actually I'm gonna put them on the floor because I already stabbed myself with the cactus once, and like you can see marks on my finger where that happened. Yeah, not cool. I have not finished my coffee yet. I am working on it, but it's actually really, really good. Then I have leftover chipotle from last night for my lunch today. Um, this is our book that we use with our like above level kids, so it's just like um, extra enrichment activities and stuff like that. I need to take this home so that I have it for 
my planning over the weekend so I'll just add that to that pile this came in our mailboxes um, so this is Fernando's Perry Perry and this is a coupon for something um, buy one flame grill entree and we'll give you another one on the house although I did not really like their food because it was spicy but Billy will enjoy that this is a strap for my microphone oh hold on let me show you guys this so one of the flowers fell off the plant and I had a girl who made a rip sign for it so that was cute this is a strap for this mini microphone so this is supposed to hang on the strap around our neck and then it hooks up to our speakers that are in the ceiling and it just amplifies our voice we can obviously have it down like low it doesn't have to be super loud but we're supposed to wear these at all time but I'm still waiting for a clip because I do not have the clip that goes on this that hooks it to this so I have no way of using it right now and you can't like walk and talk with it because when you have your hands on it it makes like weird noises so for right now I'm just kind of waiting to get that and then here's my lunchbox and the flowers and like my clicker and my remote for the projector but my I don't know I don't like having a ton of stuff on my desk like this it drives me nuts so I've had a cricket in my room all morning well we found it finally or at least someone's shoe found it right before they stepped on it I meant to show this to you guys earlier but I got distracted and I forgot I told you we had a staff meeting this morning and I have to say I love the way they started it off they started the first like five ten minutes by just saying like who has something good to share and like everyone got a chance to like shout out their teammates or shout out like another staff member in the school for something they've been doing that's just like great and I thought that was a fantastic way to start the meeting just on a very like positive note and it helps build that community because community is not only important in your classroom but also among like the staff in your school anyway so our school like motto slash focus for the year is staying the course and we mention it at every staff meeting and we just kind of talk about that means being intentional staying focused all that so they ended up giving us each one of these little like compass keychains and I just thought that that was really sweet and it's a cute little reminder so I put it on my badge and my keys on my lanyard just as a daily reminder so it is now after school the afternoon was very interesting so I love my second block of kids like they just work super super hard they're really focused they did a great job um, so in math we're talking about prime and composite numbers and you guys I had a kid who realized that when you're checking like a number to see if it's prime to see if it's only factors are one in itself I had a kid who said well if the numbers odd you don't have to even check any of the even factors because there won't be any and it was just like oh my gosh like I love those light bulb moments and so as a group like we went through and we tested some and like the group came up with their consens consensus like do you think that's true or not and it was just amazing like it was amazing <laughs> so that was a very proud like teacher moment anyway so at the very end of block two typically at 3 20 we switch back and I would have my homeroom class just for deer time until 3 35 and then that's when they go and pack up and start dismissal however today we ended up going on like a modified lockdown which that's the first time that that's happened this school year there's just something about lockdowns it's always like I don't know makes you kind of nervous um but it's okay I mean we didn't have to like go in the corner of the room we just had to like lock the door and close it and all that but of course the kids are super confused they're like why are we having deer time in here I'm like don't worry about it just read your book read your book but anyway it is now after school it's like 4 30 I've spent the past half an hour just sitting here responding to emails because I never find time to answer emails during the day if you're a teacher and you're able to answer emails during the day like please tell me how you do that because I barely am at my computer all day like the only time I'm there is if I'm pulling up a website or like switching powerpoints or something like that I definitely cannot answer emails so I had to save them all for after school and I had quite a few but they're actually good emails like one um, parent was just telling me about like a dismissal change for the student and then after I responded like saying yes like I told them then they responded back and they were just saying like how much their kid loves my class and this is the first year where they haven't like struggled to come to school in the morning and um, they're like just whatever you do keep doing it and they're like will you move up to fifth grade math next year no thank you however it's just really really nice to hear that and like that's my goal I want all of my students to love coming to school I want my classroom to be their happy place and I want this to be a place where they feel comfortable and they feel loved um, but they also love learning and so that's just super exciting to hear that from someone I'm starting to get a migraine so I'm gonna sit here and just quickly plan math for the next two days and then I'm gonna get out of here I'm not gonna do like extra stuff I'm not gonna worry about like organizing binders or labels although goodness knows there's always stuff to label I'm not gonna worry about it tonight because I'm getting half a migraine I just want to get home and kind of have a relaxing night so I'm gonna get working and then I'll catch up with you guys later on 
Okay, so I did go ahead and finish my plans for the rest of the week and already I have changed how I'm doing my planning even though I just showed it to you yesterday. So before I had um, just like little blocks for like my morning stuff, my cultural arts, my lunch, my recess. I decided to take those out because I'm like, Michelle, there's really no point. I also had social studies and science planned differently for my two blocks, but then I realized I'm like, I'm literally doing the same exact thing for science and social studies. So here's what I have now. Let me go to my classes. So now I have a section for block one math, block two math, and then just science and social studies because those end up being the same. Um, so I kept both the math ones as pink because in my head, I just picture math as pink. Does that sound weird? Like I picture a subject as a color, but I do. I picture math as pink. I picture science as green and then I picture social studies as blue. And I know you guys are probably confused because I talked about also having like different colors for my blocks, but I swear I can keep it all straight. The colors for the subject. So like pink for math and green for science and blue for social studies. That's literally just for like my grade book. And then the colors for my blocks is for like organizing my copies and all that. I know it probably sounds confusing to you guys, but I swear it makes sense to me. So within my plans now, I just have block one on the top and then block two and then science and then social studies. On the days where I teach science, I just put none for social studies. And then on the days I teach social studies, I put none for science. And again, guys, I'm keeping this super simple. Now this totally depends on your admin and what they expect. But for me, since the lessons are all written out and I end up making PowerPoints that essentially have all the information in them. So I kind of am writing out more detailed plans, just not in my plan book physically. So I literally like for math, um, I put the question up here and then I put the lesson number just so I could easily get to it if I needed to. I put the focus, so just like prime and composite numbers. I put their I can statement. I put if there's anything to finish from the previous lesson, obviously like Friday, I don't know yet. So I put none, but I can go in and add it if I need to. I linked the learn zillion video and then I added this in here. So Bud, who is our TA, she, you guys probably think I'm so weird for calling her that, but I swear it's what everyone calls her. So she is in my room during my block one math. So from 9.35 to 10.35, she's in my room. So she wanted me just to kind of give her like direct like what do I want her to do? So I decided to add her own little like blurb in here. So I just kind of tell her what to do, whether it's circ circulating around the room, pulling students, whatever. So I've kind of added her to my plans. And then for my block two math, I don't have that because she's not in my room during that time. Um, and I also have linked just any like practice pages. Why did that not work? There we go. Oh, Oh, there we go. Downloaded it. <laughs> oh, you guys, I swear I'm techie somewhat. Um, so I've also linked just any practice pages that we use. So I feel good. My plans are done for the week. I do need to go in and just like edit my PowerPoints because I think I'm going to change how I do those too. Um, maybe once I like finalize exactly how I'm going to do my planning this year, along with like all the PowerPoint stuff, I can make a video about it and like go through it in detail so that it makes a little bit more sense. But on that note, I'm getting out of here because it is 6.54. I'm going to be meeting Billy at Panera Bread at about 7 15 he should be home we're gonna go eat dinner because we're both starving and we have not gone to the grocery store yet uh we're getting there you guys and then i'm gonna go home i'm gonna work on the powerpoint and i'm gonna relax and i'm gonna have a nice relaxing night and i'm gonna get ready for another great day tomorrow so i showed you those purple baskets that i got i ended up keeping them back here on my little like air conditioning unit before i had these like black and white bins just kind of lined up there and they were literally there for no purpose but my six like table baskets fit perfectly along here and it's great because I can use these for math for handing out like manipulatives. I can use these for science for handing out materials. They're big enough that I can put like papers in there. And I feel like this will just simplify like my process of getting materials out to my groups. And because they are labeled again, I can just send a kid and be like, go get your basket and they can get it. And hopefully they can put them back in in order. My kids are very quickly figuring out that I really like to be organized. I opened up one of my cabinets. My kids were like, wow, Mr. Hay, you're really organized. I was like, yes, yes, I am. And then for right now, I like to have like games available for early finishers. So right now I just have this basket with all of the laminated game boards for this multiple madness game. And then this container is holding all of like the baggies with the pieces. I would like to get containers to hold all of those, but right now I just don't have any. Um, and then this basket's just there for library books. I may end up getting a bigger one and I may end up having to move it if I'm using this mostly for like math materials and stuff, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay. Hey.
Okay, so welcome to another episode of Michelle's Shopping Addiction. Today we have four contestants that were on my front porch when I got home. I'm gonna start with this one because I actually already know what this is. I ordered extra beans for my bean bag because it is literally a pancake and the kids do not even sit on it because like there's nothing between their butt and the ground. So I got this huge bag of bean bag beans. I think it was about $17 um, and this should definitely be enough to like fill up the bean bag. I'm just gonna leave it in the bag until I get in my classroom tomorrow um, but just so you guys can kind of see for size reference like it comes up higher than my hip um, so it's a lot but I will link this for you guys in the description so if you also have a deflated bean bag like myself you can get some filler for it now I got a lot of stuff off of Walmart so I have no idea what's like actually in here because I ordered so much hopefully all of it is in here I don't know okay it looks like it's just my cardstock maybe yeah so it's just my cardstock um, so this is just Georgia Pacific premium cardstock cardstock 110 weight and there are 150 sheets in here costs about 550 roughly so I got three packs of this all right next one. Oh, yay Billy will be happy about this so this is from Amazon because I did that back to school campaign with them where I picked out my like influencer list and I did the video and Instagram and ad all this so this was like a thank you from them so it says hi Michelle thank you so much for participating in this year's Amazon back to school campaign we loved your content look forward to working together again in the future so that's awesome so they sent me one of the Amazon echoes this is really exciting because actually you guys know yeah don't judge me for my kitchen um, Billy and I have the dot and I got this hoping to bring it into my classroom but the problem is in my classroom I cannot get on Wi-Fi like I can't even put my cell phone on the Wi-Fi nothing whatsoever so I'm not gonna be able to use it at school so we've been using it here at our townhouse and we love it and Billy and I even talked about like that we need to get more so we can have like one here in the main floor one down in the basement one in like the upstairs so this is perfect so this one can stay like on the main floor and then we can put the dot downstairs yay I'm really really excited thank you Amazon you guys are seriously amazing and let's see what this is okay I see plastic cups all right, so these are, yeah, these are the plastic cups that I ordered, um, and there's a whole bunch of them. I think it was like a pack of 100, so I should be able to use these for several years, but I'm gonna make these up as like little birthday gifts for my homeroom kids. I'm only gonna give them to my homeroom kids. It would just be way too much to prep um, for all of my block classes, but basically in this cup, I'm going to put a little bit of candy at the bottom. They're gonna get a pencil, and I'm gonna bunch up some tissue paper at the top and then put the little dome lid on so it kind of looks like, like a drink or a smoothie um, but that will be their gift for their birthday so now I just need the time to actually prep all of these you got something camera yep Good morning, YouTube. I made it a week and a half into the school year before I officially did not dry my hair. <laughs> I was just really tired and I went to bed early last night. I got into bed at like 11 o'clock. I got my math planning, um, the PowerPoint like completely done for tomorrow, no, today and tomorrow. And I got into bed and I actually got a fair amount of sleep but I was still just really, really tired. Probably my fault for pulling the all-nighter and it's probably catching up to me, but it's okay. I'm up now, I'm awake, I'm feeling good. I had to shove the box of all the beanbag beans into the back of my car and like close the door so that it didn't fall out. I'm gonna go get an iced pumpkin latte because I had one yesterday and it literally just made my day that much better. Good morning, how may I help you? Hi, can I get a medium iced pumpkin latte, please? Medium iced pumpkin latte? Yes. That'll be Yep, that'll be it. Thank you. I am now at school. Good news is on Thursday mornings, I don't have meetings or anything. So I basically just have free planning time to myself from 8.05 to 8.55. Bad news is I do not have cultural arts time today. So my students will be with me all day, but I do have guidance for half an hour. And then I have Chromebooks for like 50 minutes ish, which is good because then my students will go on Chromebooks. I'm able to get stuff done like on my own. So I am looking forward to today. It should be a pretty good day. Tomorrow is Friday. Tonight I'm doing an Instagram live for my mail haul so I'm in a good mood I'm excited we're getting there all right it is now lunchtime the morning has gone pretty smoothly no complaints um it's been great thankfully during computer time my students were awesome like they all just sat there quietly and were on their computers and I was like hallelujah so I was able to get math plans for next week like mapped 
out of like which lesson I'm doing on which day. Obviously there's still stuff I have to prepare like my math PowerPoints and some copies and stuff like that, but I at least got it like laid out. So I feel good. My entire week next week is already laid out. I just have to get like the stuff ready for it. So I feel awesome. I'm going to enjoy my lunch because I'm starving. Like I went into my candy bin and I ate a Rice Krispie treat because I was like that hungry. So I'm going to go eat and then I'll catch up with you guys this afternoon. Okay. It is now the end of the day. It's like 420 and this is my goal. I need to put those beanbag beans into the beanbag without them getting all over the place. Okay. Never mind. Plot twist. Um, so there is a zipper, but it's like it's inside out and I can't move it. Like I've even tried just pushing it. And if you look like it almost looks like it's glued behind it and there's literally like no other zipper. So I have no idea how I'm supposed to fill this up or if I even can fill it up. And the bad thing is, of course, I already cut off the corner of this stupid bag of beans. So now I'm worried kids are going to be like playing with it. I really don't want to take it home because my cats are going to play with it. So I have no idea. I'm going to just leave it here for tomorrow and then I'll figure it out. And on that note, I'm getting out of here. It's 4.30, so I'm leaving pretty early, at least for me. But I feel like I've gotten a pretty good grasp on like my plans for next week, at least enough for like right now. And I'm doing an Instagram live tonight at eight o'clock, which I've never done. So I'm kind of nervous, <laughs> but I'm going to get out of here so I can like go to the mail. Um, yes, go to the mail. Hmm. I'm going to get out here so I can take a nap. No, I'm going to get out of here so I can go to the post office, get a bite to eat, and then maybe take a nap for real, like before the Instagram live. I don't know. I've got to think about it, but I am going to get out of here because I deserve it. And I've worked hard all week and I'm going to go and enjoy my night. As you saw, I ended up going to Home Goods because it was a little bit too early to like grab dinner and I wanted to kill a little bit of time. And of course I ended up leaving with stuff. I got this sign that says eat well, travel often, and it's in gold. And I saw it and I was literally like, I have to have it. Like I have no reason not to get this. So it was $16.99. I'm gonna put this down in the basement in my like little work room. I also got this thing of just like fake pears. Um, they're gonna go in that basket that is on the table. I also want to find fake apples, but I cannot find any like anywhere. I should probably just get some off of Amazon. I also got these. I guess they're like pretzels, maybe. I really don't know. Um, but I saw honey mustard and I went, ooh, yes, I want that. And then actually when I was checking out, the cashier said that they're really, really good and they're addicting. So I said, good, I can't wait to try them. I'll probably take them to my classroom and just keep them there as like a snack because today I was so hungry all day. I have no idea why, but all day I was just eating and I kept going into my candy drawer and I need to stop doing that. So I'm gonna keep those at school for a snack. And then of course, it wouldn't be a vlog without having package delivery. So these are both from Walmart. I'm hoping these are my binder clips. So I just kind of cut it open, but I haven't actually taken the stuff out. Oh man, it's highlighters instead. That's okay. Um, so these are the orange highlighters. Hi Luna. And I'm assuming these are the green ones. Hold on. Um, yeah, those are the green ones. So not super exciting, but that's okay. Um, I do need them. I need to add them to my stash because I don't have many. So I have no idea what's in here. I mean, I ordered so much stuff from Walmart. I honestly can't remember. Looks like sheet protectors and magnets. <laughs> um, so this is a hundred pack of sheet protectors because all of those I can statements that I'm typing up and storing in binders for my board, I'm putting in sheet protectors. And after doing just the first like theme for the year, I was already a little bit low. So I got these and I ordered these magnetic buttons since I can never find them. So I got four packs of these. Hallelujah. Okay guys, I must be more tired than I thought. I started packing this bag with stuff to take to school tomorrow. So one pack of cardstock, page protectors, the highlighters, my snack. And for some strange reason, yeah, I put the pears in there. Um, I don't think so, Michelle. So Billy should be home in about 45 minutes. I'm going to sit here, eat my Chick-fil-A, and I'm going to watch Grey's Anatomy and I'm going to relax. And then I will probably do my hair because it's a hot mess right now. And then I get to go on Instagram live. And shout out to Chick-fil-A. You are the real MVP. They gave me four Chick-fil-A sauces. And sorry, something dramatic is happening on Grey's Anatomy. All right, you guys, I'm officially all set up for my Instagram live tonight. So I have all of my unopened mail over here. Along
along with my Chick-fil-A cup, I wanted to make <laughs> popcorn and eat it during my live, but Billy told me that would be weird. So I guess I won't. Please ignore the hot mess that is my office. I literally have mail everywhere. Like that is all mail. This is all mail. It's just ridiculous, but I'm all set up. I'm nervous. Like my chest, <laughs> my heart is beating so fast. It's crazy, but I'm excited. Like I can't wait just to kind of hang out with you guys and hopefully answer some of your questions, open my mail and just have a good time with you all. Life update. I feel like so much has happened since I last vlogged. I did my Instagram live and I loved it. I loved just getting to talk with you guys. Like I was really nervous at first. I was literally shaking. My heart was like beating out of my chest. But once I actually got on there and started talking to you guys, like I loved it. Um, I, I don't know if you guys could tell that I was nervous, but I was. Um, now the only thing was a, at one point I looked up, which I shouldn't have done. I shouldn't have looked at the number of people watching. I should have just ignored it, but I looked at it and there were over like a thousand people and my heart literally just like dropped to my stomach because I was like, what? <laughs> and apparently at one point I was like trending on Instagram. So I ended up having a bunch of like random people that came in, which was not what I wanted. And the comments were just like ridiculous, but I will figure out a way to like prevent that from happening in the future because I do want to do these more often. Um, I apologize because I did not save the replay. So you guys can't watch the replay, but I do want to do these more often, either like bi-weekly or monthly. I may not even come up with a schedule because I don't want to put that like pressure on myself. I want to do it because I enjoy it. So they may be random. I don't know. I will try to keep you guys updated though. Honestly, if you're not following me on Instagram, like you want to do that because that's where I post like most frequently with updated information. So once the Instagram live was done, I went downstairs. Billy and I were kind of chatting and I was texting Meg from Meg's Crunch. You guys hear me talk about her all the time. She was my savior during Instagram live because she was like blocking all of the creepy people. Thank goodness. But her and I ended up talking on the phone and we talked for probably about an hour. We got disconnected like five times, but talking to her made me realize even more just how much I love her as a genuine human being. Um, she is like what I strive to be just in terms of like she is her own person. She doesn't care what other people think. She has a great attitude about herself. She keeps it real. She's honest. So like if you guys like how I'm honest about stuff, like Meg is even more so. So make sure you are following her. I'll like link her down below if I can remember to do that. <laughs> if not, just remind me and I'll add her stuff in there. Um, but just talking with her like honestly made me feel so much better and it just, I don't know. I like people like that. I just like people that are like motivational and inspirational and they just, they are themselves and like in that they push me to like be a better version of myself. So I'm gonna get to bed on that note because I've had a lot of social interaction tonight between doing Instagram live for an hour and a half with like a thousand people watching me. And then I've just been doing a lot of like texting and phone calls and I'm like, I feel tired from interacting with people because I don't, I don't do that much social interaction usually besides like my kids. I don't know, that's different. So I'm going to get to bed. Tomorrow is Friday, which is good news. I don't think I have jeans clean, so I don't know what I'm gonna wear, but I will figure it out in the morning and I will talk to you guys then. Good morning, YouTube. It was another morning of sleeping in and not drying my hair because I was just so tired. And I did pretty good last night. I got in bed at like 11.45, which I know is probably later than I should have gotten in. Like I wanna get into the habit of being in bed by like 10.30. I feel like that's reasonable, but I'm not quite there yet. But maybe next week, like since I'm now starting to get ahead with my plans, like maybe next week I will be able to get in bed at a decent time and get back into that habit. I'm gonna go get me some Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> because that's just one of those little things that really helps me get through the day and it makes me excited. So I'm gonna get some coffee and then I'll catch up with you guys at school. Good morning, how may I help you? Good morning, can I get a medium iced pumpkin latte please? Medium pumpkin iced latte, okay. That'll be all? Yep, that'll be it. Thank you. You guys, I come into my classroom and first of all, I have this sticky note saying that my custodian filled my beanbag chair. So if you remember yesterday, like I could not get it filled. I could not get the zipper undone and I was getting really, really frustrated. Look, he just filled it for me. I'm seriously so like excited right now. You guys have no idea. And then this is from my team teacher, Robin. It just says to Michelle from Robin because I heart you. And she actually just started a teacher Instagram account. So I'm going to link that for you guys in the description so you can go like stalk her and follow her. <laughs> and I'm trying to convince her to start like a YouTube channel or I'm gonna get her on my channel somehow. I don't know, it's a work in progress, but we will figure it out. But you guys, I'm seriously at like the best school ever.
is now my planning time and I'm gonna spend it grading because even though we haven't done a whole lot and I actually don't have to have as many grades here as I used to I used to have to have three grades per week per subject area and now we only have to have one per subject area per week which is absolutely amazing but I don't want to get behind in my grading so these were things my students did yesterday I'm gonna go ahead and grade them so that it's done and out of the way <laughs> So while I was grading, I made a list of students in my block one that I need to pull to reteach prime and composite numbers to. And I do not have dry erase boards yet, so I'm just using my dry erase sleeves or dry erase pockets. You can get these off of Amazon. I can link them down below. And I literally just put a plain white piece of paper inside of them. Okay, it is lunchtime. Morning has gone pretty well. Math went well. I was able to get through the entire lesson and then I was able to pull a group for reteaching and they did much, much better afterwards. So I feel good about that. Science has been a little, a little bit of a hot mess. Um, they've just been very chatty and it's hard like at the end of block one like they're hungry they're ready for lunch they're talkative and so it was a struggle but that's okay we got through like flowers and we started cacti so that's progress I guess um, and then this afternoon my block one class I mean we're like farther ahead and then even in science we got farther ahead so I don't know I might spend a little bit more time on like cacti with them but for now I'm gonna eat my lunch because I'm starving and I've been eating yogurt in the morning and it does help tie me over but by like 11 30 like I'm just I'm ready to eat okay it is now after school so what I'm doing now is getting math homework prepared for next week we send it home on Monday and then they turn it in on Friday but it's not graded we basically just check for like completion so what I'm doing right now is I went through the lessons that we're gonna be doing I wrote down like homework options and I'm just kind of going through the book picking out what I want my students to do they each have this book at home so they just do the pages tear them out and then bring them to school on Friday So this is what I had Bud, our TA, work on for me today. I had her put all of the labels on my file folders and I had her label them with numbers. That way I don't have to redo them next year and replace the names. I can just keep them with the same numbers. So one of my weekend projects will be creating a class roster for each of the home rooms. I'm gonna make sure my roster has all of the student names with the number next to it. Okay, you guys, it is now 6.04 in the afternoon. Obviously my kids are all gone. I've just been working on stuff here in my room. I got some grading done and I got grades put into the grade book officially for the first time and I had to get some work for a student who's going to be out on Monday and Tuesday so just getting like the makeup work from class and getting their homework which I needed to do anyway because I had to get that stuff prepared but according to our union like technically we don't have to provide work for students ahead of time like we just have to give it to them obviously when they come back but like if a parent's going to go out of their way to ask for work for their student as long as I am able to provide it for them like why would I not do that I know some teachers are like well no it's extra work for me blah 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 look you need to do what's best for your students and if what's best for your students is providing them with their work ahead of time so that they don't fall behind like absolutely I'm gonna do that now if they're going for like two weeks no I probably cannot provide them with all their work because it depends on how they do on the lessons and like I said a lot of my math planning is day-to-day -day based on how my students did that prior day but yeah I got that stuff ready I got math homework prep for next week and I got grades done so I feel good I am leaving because Billy is on his way home we're gonna meet at home and then we have to take some of his clothes to go get dry cleaned and then we're gonna grab a bite to eat but I'm gonna end my vlog here and I just realized I'm still wearing my microphone from today I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did as always please give it a thumbs up it just helps this video be able to reach more teachers don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I have two videos that go up every week one is my weekly vlog which you are watching right now that goes live every Saturday morning at 7 a.m. and I have a second video that goes live every Sunday morning at 7 a.m. and that one varies it could be like a Target haul a mail haul a 
sit down video with like more information, whatever, you guys get the point. But I have two videos that go up every week and I would love for you guys to subscribe so you don't miss them. Overall, I am just loving it here. Like I love the school, I love the staff, I love my team teachers, I love the students, I love the parents, like it's just, this is where I imagined myself being and this is where I feel at home, this is where I feel comfortable and I'm just happy. I can just tell I'm just genuinely more happy. Like I feel like actually a teacher and I, I didn't always feel like that before and this is like what I thought about teaching my whole life, like what it would be, this is exactly it. And I love just having that like dream become a reality. I will say I do miss hugs because I do not get as many hugs from fourth graders as I used to get from my second graders, but that's okay. I know that they love me regardless. <laughs> As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so, so much. Don't forget to think positive and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you wanna check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to my social media sites and my Teachers Pay Teacher Store are in the description box for you along with my PO box if you are interested. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one.